I've been getting some questions and comments from you lately. Some of you have been asking why I carry so much stuff and some of you want some tips and tricks to make life easier for yourself because you've been out walking and you've either found it difficult to carry the stuff or by the end of the day you've just been in a bit of pain. So here's some tips that I've learned over the years that I've been doing this. I'm not sponsored so everything that I have here has been bought by me and everything I've learned has been from my mistakes. So the first thing is a decent camera bag. You ask a lot of questions about this bag and I've made a couple of videos on this so I'm not going to go into too much detail but this is a Low Pro Whistler 450 AW. It's got pretty thick shoulder straps and I quite like how it spreads out all the weight. With my old bag the shoulder strap was quite thin and it would really dig in and by the end of the day that would be really painful whereas with this it's quite spread out and it just helps to spread out that load. This one's also got a chest strap which makes a little bit of difference but not that much. The main difference is with this waist one and it's going to be tricky to show you this but as you can see there it's not on my shoulders and the bag is staying up and most of the weight well all the weight is on my hips whereas if you unclip that and loosen that off there's quite a lot of pressure on my shoulders now so when you're looking for a bag I'd recommend looking for something with a waist strap because that makes a huge difference and it looks kind of nerdy but by the end of the day you'll be glad that's there. Another thing with the bags is you want to pack it so that the centre of gravity is closer to your back. That's why I put my tripod on the side there. If I put it onto this area here it would be pulling my bag backwards and if you're walking on grass like this that's not really a problem but if you're walking on the screes, say around wasp water, where it's easy to lose balance, if that bag is pulling you backwards, you're more likely to fall and injure nice. yourself. And Ankle breaking country. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but having all the heavy stuff closer to your back makes a massive difference throughout the day. With this bag as well, it's back loading. So all the heavy stuff that's in the bag is right up against my back. So we've got the 5D Mark III with 135mm, got the 400mm, got a 24 to 70, got filters, batteries, got more filters in there, got food and drink in the front. So I like to put all my light stuff and stuff that I want to get to quickly in that front section and at the top and all the heavy stuff that I'm not going to use that often either goes in this section here or in the bottom of the front section. Now some of you are probably thinking that's a lot of stuff to carry and that is sort of the reason I'm out here today. I wouldn't usually be carrying this 400mm when I'm out doing landscapes but this is a bit of a scouting walk and I'm just seeing how my legs cope with carrying that. So what I'd recommend doing is I'd work out what you want to take before you go out and fill your bag with that. And say you've not done that much walking, just go for a short walk near your house. Maybe go to a park, do a walk around there and then do a slightly longer walk and then do a walk with hills in it and then then do the mountains you don't want to find out when you're up on the top of these that you're struggling and you can't carry it it's not good for you it's painful for you probably and you're going to put yourself at risk of needing the mountain rescue and it's a bit selfish so make sure you are prepared for when you go up onto the tops if you do find that it's too heavy you can always come back down. You don't want to find out when you're on the top that you can't do it. Just take baby steps. Don't jump in at the deep end because if you can't do it on a short walk, you're not going to be able to do it on the full day. I've been doing this for a long time and 
I started with one camera and one lens. It was actually the 600D and the 18 to 55. So it was about half to a third of the weight of that. And then you sort of build up and as you build up your camera collection, your legs will get used to it and it won't be as much of a shock. So I'd recommend get, trying to get used to it as early as possible. It's gonna make your life easier in the long run. Another good reason to do it that way and building up slowly is you'll build up better walking form, which sounds kind of lame, but it's like when you go to the gym, like you, you start with a 10 kilo dumbbell, get good at that, then you'll be able to move up to the 15 kilos and up to the 20 kilos and up onto the 25 and so on. And you'll have better form and you'll be just using the muscles that you need for that job. Whereas if you started on the 10 kilos and then jump straight up to the 25, you're gonna be throwing your whole body into it and you're more likely to injure yourself. So build up slowly and get your body used to it. And annoyingly, you need to keep on top of it because I used to carry this quite often, the 400, and I've been struggling to carry this the last few days. So it's something that you need to keep on top of or keep working at. And yeah, that's why I'd recommend carrying it wherever you go and then you're always ready. But those are my tips for carrying heavy equipment. Get the center of gravity closer to your back. Get a bag that's got this um, waist strap and just assess what's in the bag. Carry what you need and build up slowly. But I hope you found the guide helpful. I've got more videos like this on this channel and I've got a load of photography guides over on adamcapper.co.uk. If you could share those around, that'd be massively appreciated. And the more they get seen, the more I can make. But I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time.